Chess friends, how are you? Today I played with Magnus Carlsen who is the best chess player, the game was absolutely brilliant and of course, I sacrificed my pieces rook and queen against him, last day Alpha Zero drew that game and so the game was boring, I think he was cheating that game too. Cheaters are increasing in chess game by watching Gotham chess videos, so let's go, I started the game with e4, we have c5 knight to f3, here you can play knight c6 d6 or e6 French variation of Sicilian as I told you in yesterday video, Magnus watched, that video and I am his ideal, so he played e6, we have knight c3 and a6 as I told you, this simple a6 and e6 move prevents a lot of attacks and paralyzes the light square bishop activity. Black of b5 and d5 move in his next turn and at the same time you can strike in the center with d4, but I choose to play something ordinary move, so we have b5 castle bishop b7, d4 and after doing center exchanges, we have knight c6 queen e3, this queen e3 move blocks the bishop line but it opens up the rook file at the same time. Two days ago Magnus was defeated by a kid Ali Reza Firuza in bullet. What the hack is this? Magnus is like magma, sometimes he becomes a monster and sometimes he becomes a nut. We have 97 rook to d1 rook c8, a4 and he pushed the b pawn, it is the almost same position as I played with alphabot yesterday, and I played the amazing move knight d5, here best move for black is to play knight g6, let me show you the variation, then knight b6 will come to target this by supporting of the queen and a5 is coming, 200 elo players will play rook b8, and this is not the best move because therefore I will capture the pawn with rook. The queen have to move up then I will sacrifice the rook, after rook takes rook we will capture the pawn, rook b8 then bishop b5 will arrive to target the knight, and there is no way to protect the knight, the knight is covering all these squares and if you think, what about knight e7, then queen c5 will come to target it, e5 to protect it so bishop e3, black position will be totally restricted and if he tries to save the king, then we will play knight d5 to target the queen. And no matter what you will play, you will lose the game, if queen e6 then knight c7 will fork up your king and queen. Do not dwell in the past, do not dream of the future, concentrate the mind on the present moment, so back to the position, here Magnus takes the knight, pawn takes and you can see this position as compare to the stockfish and alpha zero game too, but Magnus isn't alpha zero, if he's cheating that's another thing, but he's not like alpha zero, lol, ha 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 ha, we have knight a5 rook takes pawn. Rook e1 with the idea of playing bishop d3 with an extra move to activate the rook and the knight want to come like a snake, zigzag zigzag, we have rook c6 to target it, here any normal human would take the knight and lose the all opportunities to attack the king, that's why I hate human intelligence. Human intelligence is not worthy because they spoil their intelligence by watching TV, social media, and dreaming to have an ideal life and money by sitting in the toilet but they do not work for it properly, you should be clear, what is your life goal, and work for it, not for others life goal, anyway we have queen f4 to protect it, and the black king have a very restricted position, if you play queen b8 try to get freedom for your country, then we will capture the knight. Queen takes takes and after two moves later, I will get an extra piece and I will win the game completely, so back to the position, if you tries to play g6 to free your king like this, then queen f6 will come, rook g8 knight e5 to target this pawn, you have to play rook g7 then you will lose the game, I mean the position will be dead lost for you, so in this position, Magnus played perfect move f6, try to cover the knight entry points, so we have bishop d2 to target this with queen, knight b3 and I captured the pawn, by sacrificing the rook, now I get a chance to play knight d4, any normal person here will save the rook, let me show you the variation, then we will sacrifice the queen, this is the queen sacrifice which I write in my video title, takes bishop h5 check and mate, wow, what a beautiful checkmate, when you play chess at the beginning level, you get checkmated like this in the opening, can you remember? Magnus knows that by playing knight d4, the bishop line gets open and the queen is targeting to the pawn, so we have rook takes d6, queen takes d6 to add pressure to the knight, black is still in the restricted position so he can't improve his king position, he need extra time for it, that's why Magnus played knight c2, knight takes knight and the knight need extra two moves to attack black, 
he gets one extra move and he played h5, bishop c4 and the knight is coming like this to target the black knight. We have h4 knight d4 rook to h5, to protect the e-file by placing the rook on e5, so we have f4 to protect it, h3, g5 bishop g2, it is clear that black is under pressure but you shouldn't rush too quickly, 100 elo players like you maybe sacrifice the rook but that will not help anything for your position, so look at this position, my knight can't come to the black position because of this rook, my bishops are well placed but because of the rook, I can't make progress, so in that case, I need a little amount of patience with pawn and king development, so b3 and after some moves later, we have g4, to kick out the rook, the rook can't stay here so rook back to h7 to protect that square, we have knight f5, white is targeting to the knight with full power, so g6 to protect it, queen takes f6 and if you dare to capture the knight, let me show you the variation, then queen check rook blocks and it will be a simple mate, so in this position we have d5 to open up the king lines, queen takes check, king here check king backs queen check king here and after some moves later, it will be a checkmate in few moves, look at this, the queen is being targeted and after takes Magnus gets checkmated in d7 square, so wish you all the best thanks for watching subscribe for more bye bye take care see you soon.